Hey, what's up you guys? Jeremy here, checking in from my blog this week. We haven't done it in a few weeks. Still trying to figure out the Skype thing, but as of right now, we're at the supercross.com office, which looks like we're in Whitney Houston's maybe living room or something. So uh, anyway, I wanted to talk a little bit this week about the guys. Obviously, we had the first East Round Supercross lights race last weekend, and probably a lot of you guys are thinking, like, what are the guys on the West Coast doing for the while the East Coast rounds are going. So, uh, you know, for me, I, through my experiences in the past, when I, in the early 90s when I raced the 125 class and I was on the 125 West and the East was going, uh, back then things were a little bit different because Gainesville National started uh, before Supercross was even over. So, my what we were doing is we were testing outdoor and kind of we moved we transitioned right from supercross into getting our bikes working for gainesville that was still in the supercross season for us now they don't do that the outdoor nationals start in may after supercross ends which gives those guys a bit of a you know a bit of a break or some transition time to get their bikes working for outdoor however you know i think nowadays the the theme around everyone is like train, 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 and ride, ride, ride. Well, I think these guys just got to make sure not to remember to give themselves some time to go enjoy the motorcycle and enjoy the things that they love about it. And, you know, everyone's always thinking, man, I got to go pound laps. I have the weekend off. Well, it takes some time to wrap your head around, first of all, being in the series full season. And these guys are riding the West Coast, so it's, you know, they need some time to enjoy themselves. Then kind of switch gears, get ready for outdoor, and things like that. So my advice is don't forget about the fun part and the reason you, the reason you ride your motorcycle. And what was the, the second the issue? Second, yeah, you're going to talk about um, oh, how they uh, how basically stay healthy um, yeah. or manage to get through an entire season. Yeah. The, the second issue. The second part of the blog here is, obviously it's quite an important part. We've been dealing with a lot of injuries lately and, and, and how, would you, how would you keep yourself healthy throughout a season? I mean, these guys, you guys are, they're going so fast these days. The bikes are so strong, so powerful. And what I always try to remember throughout when my career was going is, you know, take what you can take on that night. Some nights you're not, not going to be the best guy. You're not going to be the best you are as an athlete. That... Scramble. Yeah, so uh, some nights you just have to recognize that you're not going to be at your peak as you are for an athlete. And you need to take what you can take and not get silly, make mistakes, maybe do something that you shouldn't be doing on a night when your body's not going to give it to you. So uh, if you can remember those certain things when you're riding, like, hey, I'm a, I'm a fifth place guy tonight. Well, at least I'm going to live on. I'm going to ride next week. And uh, that's, that's some of the things I tried to remember back in the day. I mean, I, Fortunately, I got to win a lot of races, but there were nights that I wasn't really, wasn't really that good, and I uh, just had to roll with it and take what I can get. And uh, a lot of guys seem to push it over the limits, and that's when stuff happens. So you got to be careful. And then what's the next one? Thirdly, uh, oh, Shout out to Chad. yeah. <clears throat> All right, so pretty much that's my blog for this week. You guys uh, have a good rest of the week. We'll check in next week. But before I leave, I want to send a shout out to Chad Reed. Chad, you're looking phenomenal out there. Turned me into a huge fan, as I've always been. But anyway, you're looking real strong, and I'm bummed you got hurt. So hang in there, buddy. Hope you're doing all right. And uh, we'll be thinking about you.